what is going on guys hope you guys are all doing great I'm about to wash the car um, like I said before in the other video I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, Gugon and then wash the car right after um, I'm gonna remove this gunk here off the wing side the trunk I mean and I'm put the wing after it has a here a little bit it's like a little I don't know like a like sticky kind of like it's like a gel kind of weird rubber it's on there before when I bought the car originally and I haven't done it yet so I'm gonna do that and I show you how to put the wing on open this up and then we have the wing right here which I'll grab right now it's not that heavy it's fiberglass it's car sorry fiberglass it's carbon fiber I do need to get the wing uh, coated it's fading but I'm kind of excited I haven't seen the car with the wing in a while this is the car now side profile it's a little dirty you can't see the dust but I'll take care of that right now and I'll show you after so, yeah and this is the car wash I use if you guys are interested it's armor all and then I also have this I also like the armor all, um, tire shine it's really good real quick it's just us to um, put a little bit on here and let it sit there for a few minutes it has a hole already put a hole here a little bit and as you can see not even a few minutes it's already kind of dissolving but we'll leave it there for a few minutes all the areas that need to be put on here and then of course here and then once it's ready to get removed i'll go ahead and record it for you guys okay cool okay guys so it's so easy with this goo gone as you can see it's already coming off i'll do one more layer but it comes out like Crazy, like just dissolves it. See, this thing was tough, man. I'm telling you, it was like freaking, like kind of like rubber or something, like glue. But yeah, it comes out like nothing. This side here too. See, so it just kind of rubs off. It's really thick at first, and then after this, I'm gonna do a quick wash. I'm gonna show you guys the way I wash my Evo. Uh, I use a two bucket system, which I'll show you after. This part here, guys so easy to come on it just dissolves the freaking glue whatever it was rubber so yeah i'm gonna do one more pass right now just to make sure it's good put the wing back on here we'll wash it and then i'll take it for a cruise we'll see okay guys I'm back here so it's literally four ten millimeter bolts and uh there's one here one after you take this off it's a little kind of like a bumper kind of take it off here and the you know, socket goes in here and here in the wing and then the same thing over here it's pretty straightforward guys i'm gonna tie it up okay guys so i'm just finishing up here tying this guy up this guy up too and there and then this guy make it a little snug it's pretty straightforward and this piece goes in here like so. As you can see it kind of screws on. And I'm gonna put it, I gotta adjust it I think just to make sure it closes right in here. But I'll do it to the point where it looks uh, even in the back. So let me, let me know what you guys think if it looks better wingless or with the wing. I'm kind of still debating on what I like more, but this. Wing, no wing, guys. I don't know what you guys think. Now it's unwash it. As I mentioned before, I love using the two bucket system. Um, this thing makes hella bubbles, so that's why I like using it. I like mix it up. But two bucket system is pretty much this. You, well, at least the way I look at it, you use um, one bucket full of soap. And what I do is I wash the car with the soap one. And then after I'm done with it, I rinse the same foam there to rinse it off here. So that way I don't get the old, uh, like if I track, if I track some dirt or anything that's nasty here on, on the sponge, I don't bring it to the, to the soapy water again. So I pretty much rinse it off. So you wash, rinse off, wash, rinse off. And you do that and then I find that it makes it look a lot clearer. It comes out clearer. A lot cleaner and obviously avoids any scratching that needs to be doesn't need to be. 
Let me show you real quick. Watch the car. It still gets dirty even though it's in the garage quite a bit. Just dust and stuff gets in it. And then when I leave it out here, the stupid tree throws a lot of uh, a lot of uh, leaves and stuff. So I try to not park here too much. But yeah, that's what I do. It's a quick I try to do sections at a time, so maybe the front end a little bit, especially the front end because it's my favorite, obviously the evil. Try to keep it as clean as possible, but here. See a turbo in there? I don't know if you can see it peeking. Oh, there it is, FP Red. Love that turbo, man. It's a perfect size. Just right for the street, I believe. It has a lot of power and still has that torque, so love it. But yeah, let me just show you real quick. And then once I do that, I throw it in the water, rinse it off. Make sure it's back to clean. And throw it back in the soup. I'm still thinking about painting this guys. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, it's just a black, a basic black right now. Basic B black. Nah, it's a basic black and then uh, <laughs> I wanna paint it maybe like a shiny black, we'll see. You guys, let's go ahead and rinse it off. Whole front end is done, side two. Quick. Ooh. So usually after I'm done washing the car, I use the leftover soap. Just a little rag here, a little like abrasive one, and it's this brush. And I'll go to town here. So I wash the BBS wheels. So it's a lot better to get like this. Just gather each spoke and that way, and then get the brush and clean the wheels like this. Hey guys, we're almost done. Car's dried. Gotta do this quick foam here. And here, let's stiff for maybe a minute or two. Foam out like that. Pretty tough with my leg to do all this. That's why I get, I'm out of breath in every video. But I just gotta be careful, you know? Because I had surgery on my ACL and I can't bend too much, so I gotta be careful. So, anyways, real quick, there it is. Circle, and then I'll let it sit there for a few minutes. Get a Starbucks. I'm gonna move for Starbucks. Uh, we're gonna also do a quick pull. Uh, one of these streets are here, a long street, so you can hear the exhaust. And we'll stop real quick to do a quick shoot of the car, how it looks like now. Yeah, do this. GSCS2 cam. Cams, I love them, dude. Aggressive, has a lot of torque in top end, but yet sound, uh, sound nice to me, actually. Here's the exhaust tone. Grady exhaust. About driving the evil uh, now that it's cammed like through freaking drive-thrus man I just love it like I'll let you guys hear it just the way it idles perfect idle too by the way perfect my tuner did an awesome job on the keeping idle down You guys can hear the, the cam there. Exhaust. I uh, don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but sounds aggressive. Really aggressive. Hey guys, so we're back home already. Back up the evil here. 
done for the day. Gonna go inside, chill. Maybe play some video games. I do gotta edit some videos and then uh, have dinner or something. We'll see. Yeah. Front drive. Done with the drink ready though. <laughs> Here, I'll show you guys the camera a little more. So you hear it? Now that warmed up. I get the more 85 soon. No, it's not empty. Hope you guys can hear the vibration, the deepness of it. Yeah. So, you guys, thanks for coming, watching the video. Hope you guys loved it, liked it. Please subscribe, like the video, and comment if you guys want anything else, um, watch anything else, or I want to record anything else in the car. I think about doing a two-step demonstration, maybe a launch. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, please take care of yourselves, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.